So good morning everyone. My name is Mansi Anand and I welcome you to the new session of RBI 24/7. So guys, as you know that in this session we discuss a set of 5 questions that can be of use to you if you are preparing for competitive exams. So let's not waste any time and move straight away to question number 1. But before doing that, do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you are watching the video for the first time and you haven't subscribed till now. and you can also press this bell icon which is flashing on the screen it can help you to stay in touch with us apart from that you can also join our telegram group and on this group you can post all your doubts and queries and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so time for question number 1 so guys here is question number 1 and this question says which of the following statements are correct about repo and reverse repo operations moving ahead to the Correct option for this question and the correct option for this question is option A. Option A means only one is correct and rest two statements are not correct. Why is this so? Guys, let us first understand the meaning of these two terms repo and reverse repo. Repo comes from the word repurchase. Ek tarike se repurchase ka short form hai repo. आप अगर इसको ब्रेक करोगे इस दो टर्म्स में इट बिकम्स री एंड परचेज दैट विच मींस टू परचेज अगेन राइट सो रेपो इज नथिंग बट एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू प्रोवाइड अ शॉर्ट टर्म लोन टू समवन फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से यू नीड सम मनी एंड यू नीड सम अर्जेंट मनी एंड यू गो टू योर फादर एंड टेल देम कि पापा मुझे तो पैसे चाहिए और मेरे पास कुछ पैसे मेरी पॉकेट मनी में से कम पड़ रहे हैं आई आई हैव सम अर्जेंट नीड राइट नाउ यू वांट टू बोरो लेट्स से रुपीज टू थाउजेंड योर फादर से इज ओके आई एम गोइंग टू गिव दिस टू थाउजेंड बैक आई एम गोइंग टू गिव दिस टू थाउजेंड टू यू बट नेक्स्ट मंथ व्हेन यू विल गेट योर पॉकेट मनी यू विल हैव टू रिटर्न टू मी रुपीज राइट सो योर फादर इज बेसिकली they want that you should return the money to him right similarly repo is such an instrument which allows banks to borrow from their papa rbi for short term right so a bank kya kehta hai if bank needs money they can go to rbi and they can tell rbi that ye uh, mere paas kuch government securities padi hain i have some investments in the form of government securities you take them take them as collateral and in return give me money right after a short duration i will come and take these investments back from you and i will pay you the money right so that is repurchase so did you just see that how they are first selling their uh, securities to rbi banks are selling their securities to rbi to take loan and then uh, when they give the money back to rbi they take back the securities they are purchasing the securities again and hence the term repurchase jisko hum short mein bolte hain repo right ab reverse repo kya hota hai reverse repo is ko opposite hai let's say your father needs some money and father comes to you ki mujhe kuch paiso ki zarurat hai kuch paise de do so that is a reverse repo operation when rbi goes to banks and takes some money from banks right so rbi is taking money from the banks here rbi is giving money to the banks right so see अब आरबीआई को पैसों की जरूरत क्यों है ऑब्वियसली आरबीआई इज नॉट गोइंग टू फेस एनी डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ फंड्स, बट इट जस्ट वॉन्ट्स दैट बैंक शुड नॉट हैव दैट मच मनी राइट दिस इज वेरी स्ट्रेंज दैट व्हाई वुड योर फादर आस्क यू फॉर अ लोन ही मस्ट बी हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ मनी राइट सो बट द पॉइंट इज योर फादर इज आस्किंग फॉर मनी बिकॉज ही डजेंट वॉन्ट कि आपके पास ज्यादा पैसे रहें और आप इसको इधर उधर खर्च कर दो और यू माइट स्पेंड इट ऑन मूवीज और बाइंग न्यू क्लोथ और बाइंग न्यू इयरफोन्स फॉर योर सेल्फ राइट सो योर फादर डजेंट वॉन्ट दैट सेम गोज फॉर आर बी आई आर बी आई डजेंट वॉन्ट बैंक टू स्पेंड मनी हेयर एंड देयर बेसिकली दे डोंट वॉन्ट बैंक टू इंडल्ज इन टू रेकलेस लैंडिंग दैट इज वाई दे टेक सम मनी फ्रॉम आर बी आई फ्रॉम बैंक राइट सो दिस इज रिवर्स रेपो एंड दिस इज अ रेपो ऑपरेशन You can have a look at this diagram. This is going to make things more clear to you. 
here you can see in a repo rate arrangement what is happening RBI giving money to commercial bank to lend more to borrowers basing basically RBI is putting money into the economy ke aam aadmi ke hath mein paisa jaye usko zyada loans mile why because if these borrowers they are going to get money they are going to demand more agar inke paas paisa aa jayega agar ye loan le lenge then obviously they are going to buy more goods and services which will lead to growth in economy right and iska opposite kya hai that is sorry this is why this leads to an increase in market liquidity and iska opposite kya hai a reverse repo arrangement where rbi is taking deposits from the commercial bank so that commercial bank have uh, commercial banks have less money to give to borrowers right so this is the whole system now going back to the statements here you can see first statement was correct because obviously repo is a form of short term collateral backed borrowing because they are paying government securities as, as collateral so this statement is correct second statement which says repo rate is lower than the reverse repo rate now coming to this point uh, this term rate rate means jis rate par rbi commercial bank ko loan dega that is known as repo rate so basically your father is giving a loan to you and charging some interest which is known as repo rate whereas when rbi takes money from commercial banks they charge an interest rate known as reverse repo rate so jab aapke papa ne aapse ek loan manga then you all you also tell him that you charge me interest and i am also going to charge interest at reverse repo rate but your father is saying that obviously i don't have a need for money i am just doing it for your own sake to papa jo kar rahe hain wo bacche ki bhalai ke liye kar rahe hain taki wo paise ko fizool kharch mein na lagaye that is why the credibility of father is more than the commercial bank and this reverse repo rate is less than the repo rate that is why the kid has to pay more interest or a higher level of higher rate of interest than the father right so that is why reverse repo rate is less than the repo rate so that is why this statement is not correct because the lesser one is reverse repo rate coming to the third statement which says repo auction conducted by central bank of a country to remove excess cash from the system ye statement bilkul galat hai this is a wrong statement because we just saw here that a repo operation is conducted to infuse liquidity in the market whereas a reverse repo operation is conducted to decrease market liquidity or to suck out excess liquidity from the banking system so the correct option should be either this should be made uh, to infuse cash into the banking system or you can do one more thing to correct it you can add reverse here right see why are we learning about it because currently rbi is taking some actions what actions are they they are trying to suck out excess liquidity from the economy see last year we were witnessing covid that is why rbi opened its banks op oh, sorry opened its treasuries opened uh, its lockers providing money to banks so that they can lend more and uh, lead to growth in economy but now they think excess cash has been given and there is enough liquidity in the system and this should not lead to inflation that is why they are trying to conduct reverse repo operations they are trying to conduct reverse repo auctions इस प्रोसेस को हम बेसिकली बोलते हैं नॉर्मलाइजेशन नॉर्मलाइजेशन मींस गोइंग बैक टू द सिचुएशंस व्हिच वर देयर बिफोर कोविड और बिकमिंग नॉर्मल गोइंग टू द प्री कोविड पीरियड सो टेकिंग बैक द बेनिफिट्स एक बार में सारे बेनिफिट्स वापस नहीं ले लेने बट ग्रेजुअल टेकिंग बैक ऑफ बेनिफिट्स बाय आरबीआई व्हिच वर प्रोवाइडेड टू इंफ्यूज ग्रोथ ड्यूरिंग अ ड्यूरिंग द कोविड पीरियड राइट so rbi in order to conduct normalization is trying to have reverse repo operations here you can see the difference between repo and reverse repo i think this is simple enough if you have understood the basic argument you can take a screenshot of it and read it on your own i hope this is readable yes this is readable let's zoom it a little bit
so basically you can take a picture you can take a to take an expanded screenshot if you want i think this is more readable now right now you can take a picture okay this is question number 2 the question says rbi has recently shown some concerns over recapitalizing public sector banks by the use of zero coupon bonds what according to you is the reason behind such concerns so rbi ko thodi tension ho rahi hai why is this so because they are thinking government is thinking to recapitalize indian banking sector with the help of zero coupon bonds guys these jo terms hain recapitalization bonds are recapitalization bonds and zero coupon bonds both of these terms have been discussed in the previous sessions i'm just going to give you a brief introduction ye jo recapitalization bonds hain they are issued by government and banks subscribe to them bank uh, government isko issue karti hai basically ye kuch bhi nahi hai bonds hi hain ek tarike ke jo government issue karti hai aur isko kaun kharidta hai banks kharidte hain banks subscribe to them when governments collect money from banks by issuing the bonds it tries to give this money to the weak banks or banks who are in need of recapitalization right so basically taking money from the entire banking structure and then trying to give it to the weaker banks trying to recapitalize the undercapitalized banks that is recapitalization bonds coming to the zero coupon bonds zero coupon bonds mein kya hota hai here no interest is provided usually whenever uh, whenever an entity issues bonds and takes money from the other party takes money from the investor they provide some interest so agar ek company bonds issue karti hai aur aap us bonds ko khareed lete hain in return you get interest but yahan par aisa nahi hota yahan par kya karte hain bonds ko issue kam rate pe karte hain kam price pe karte hain aur usko redeem same price pe karte hain so bonds are issued at a discounted price at a lesser price and then they are redeemed at their face value for example if there is a bond which is worth rupees 1000 so the issuer might issue if it is a zero coupon bond the issuer might issue this bond at 900 so if you want to buy this bond you will have to pay 900 and let's say this is a 6 month investment 6 months ke baad aapko 1000 wapas mil jayenge so in Six months you have earned hundred rupees, right? So I hope you are clear with both concepts. If you want, you can watch the previous sessions for more detail. Okay. Now RBI is concerned because government is thinking that they are going to use these recap bonds. Uh, sorry, they are going to use zero coupon bonds as the recapitalization bonds. Basically, trying to combine both of them, right? So. the uh, government is thinking to issue zero coupon bonds iska fayda kya hoga why is government thinking for going zero coupon bonds so that they do not have to pay any interest we just saw in this example that under zero coupon bonds the issuer does not have to pay any interest but they redeem the uh, the investment at the face value right so government as they do not want any more burden of interest they are thinking to use zero coupon bonds as the recapitalization bonds but rbi is worrying about this rbi is having some tension about it what is the reason behind it let's look at the correct answer the correct answer for this question is option e option e means only three is the reason behind it that zero coupon bonds will be an investment for the banks which would not earn any return guys i just told you that when government will issue these recapitalization bonds recapitalization bonds which are also zero coupon bonds so now when government will issue these bonds they will collect money from banks at a discounted price basically collecting lesser money than banks and then they will when they will redeem it let's say government ne bahut sare bank se bank 1 bank 2 bank 3 bahut sare bank se paise le liye right so they have bought they have issued the bonds to banks at a discounted price and now they have all the money 
and they are going to put this money into under capitalized banks. But the problem is that these banks, they are not going to earn any interest on it. Generally, kya hota hai, whenever recapitalization is done, these banks which are subscribing to the bonds, which are buying the bonds, they earn some interest, but here they will not earn any interest since they are going to be zero coupon bonds. So this is a concern of RBI. Moving ahead to some more details about it. Okay. Express concerns to finance ministry. To save interest burden, government is thinking to go, uh, to go for zero coupon bonds. First test case, so this has been actually applied in one case where, where capital infusion of 5500 crores was done in Punjab and Sindh Bank by issuing zero coupon bonds. So, this mechanism has applied ho chuka hai on Punjab and Sindh Bank. Right? And bonds were issued, they were of six different maturities and they were with a tenure of 10 to 15 years and non-interest bearing that means zero coupon bonds. So sometimes it becomes difficult to ascertain the net present value of bonds because see you do not know how much interest are you going, you are not going to get any interest that is why the return that you are making and including time value of it, it becomes difficult. So the calculation of return on these zero coupon bonds, it becomes difficult. That is also one of the concern of RBI. Pehla concern to, they would not lead to any income for the bank. Uh, they are not going to get any interest. Second thing is that the calculation is difficult and the calculation process can vary, which might add to the confusion, right? Moving ahead to the next question. Third question for today which says under the new norms of SEBI members of an investment committee of an alternative investment fund will no longer be, will no longer be responsible for investment decisions. However, exemptions in AIF rule is conditional upon capital commitment of at least dash from each investor accompanied by a suitable waiver. Okay, seems like a very big and tricky question but it is not so very easy to understand. Let's first check the answer. The answer is option C. Option C means 70 crores. Now let's try to understand this. Uh, what is this statement saying that SEBI has come out with some rule? A rule which concerns AIF that is alternative investment funds. Now I hope most of you are familiar that what are alternative investment funds. They have been discussed in one of the previous sessions. In simple terms, I'll just give you a brief introduction. Uh, the funds, the investment funds, which invest in some offbeat investment or off-track investment like cryptocurrency or uh, like um, some other offbeat investments, uh, like investing into some risky ventures, right? So if they are going to invest in some alternative investments, uh, let's say REITs or INVITs, Right, so if they invest in some unconventional investment, then they are an alternative invest investment fund, making investment into unconventional avenues. Right, so I hope the AI AIF ka meaning clear ho gaya hoga. Now, what is SEBI saying? Iske is ye janne se pehle hume pehle janna hoga ki SEBI ne pehle kya rule nikala tha. So SEBI ne pehle ek rule nikala tha ki is fund ko बेसिकली ये क्या है एक इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड है इसको कोई मैनेज करने वाला मैनेजर भी होगा सो अर्लियर से भी सेड दैट दैट अलोंग विद दिस मैनेजर मेंबर्स ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट कमेटी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू बी रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द investment decisions. So, uh, sabse pehle, initially kya hota tha? only manager was responsible because manager is making all the decisions ke paisa kaha lagana hai, kaha nahi lagana hai. Basically, allocation of funds, the, de the decision regarding allocation of money, allocation of funds was being done by the manager. That is why only manager was held responsible. But uh, some time back, SEBI made a change and it said that investment committee ke jo members hain basically bahut bade bade investors jo hain which are members of the uh, investor committee they will also be held responsible alongside the manager 
right but now sebi has again provided an exemption and saying that the members of investment committee they will not be considered responsible for the investment decisions investment decisions and also to make sure that this fund is law compliant ye sare rules and regulations jo bhi government ne banaye hain regulators ne banaye hain usko follow kar raha hai pehle ye responsibility initially manager ki thi then sebi said ki investment committee wale bhi responsible honge now they are again saying that investment committee wale responsible nahi honge manager responsible hoga right so this is what is being said here members of investment committee will not be responsible no longer be in responsible for investment decision but if the members they want to avail this exemption of not being responsible they would have to make an make a commitment of at least 70 crores but ek sath sath se bhi ne condition bhi laga di that agar investors chahte hain ki wo responsible na ho to unko at least 70 crores ka commitment karna padega to the fund right from each investors accompanied with a suitable waiver basically ek waiver dete hue ki ye 70 crores jo hain ab isko manage karne ka jo right hai wo aif ke paas hai ya fir investment manager ke paas hai right so this is the whole story here you can see partial relief that is why it is being called a partial relief because if the investment is less than 70 crores and there is not a waiver you, uh, the investor has not provided a waiver saying that uh, investor has to manage all these things investor has the right right to manage or allocate all the money that i am providing right so that's a partial relief because relief has been provided to only certain section of investors who have contributed at least 70 crores sebi provided exemption to aif regarding the investment committee they will not be liable for compliance of aif investments as i told you that whether the compliance is being uh, cared about or not that is not the responsibility of members of investment committee now comes as a relief to some big institutional investors who can in, who invest a lot of money and leave it to the mercy of managers and they do not have a say uh, uh, bahut sare aise institutional investors hote hain jo paisa to invest kar dete hain but they are not taking an active part in management of that money that is why it is the managers responsibility right so that will give a boost to institutional investors to put more money into aif because they have been Uh, they 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 have been excluded from taking the responsibility okay i hope this question is clear moving ahead to the next question question number 4 which says what does it refer to here two statements you have to tell the meaning of it here correct option for this question is option a sorry correct option uh, guys there is a little bit of mistake the correct option here is option a probably this would be a some technical mistake the correct option is option a option a means exchange traded commodity okay so basically if you want to invest into a particular commodity like metals energy or livestock if you want to deal in cattle or in some agricultural commodities then there is an instrument for it which is known as exchange traded commodity why exchange traded simply because it is traded on a stock exchange right and it helps the investor to invest in a particular commodity see the good part is this is basically for the investors who want their money to be invested into one single commodity rather than a number of commodities let's say agar aapko kisi agriculture commodity wheat mein invest karna hai right so do, uh, are you going to go to the farmer actually and then set up a contract there buying and trading trying to make profit of the price fluctuations of wheat obviously you're not going to do it rather you would prefer if an exchange is providing you with such an instrument which can track the price of such a commodity so that instrument is exchange traded commodity helps you to track the prices of commodity or a basket of commodities basket mein kya hota hai 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्रीकल्चर बास्केट है अगर सो so, इसमें काफी सारे प्रोडक्ट्स होंगे बेसिकली एन ई टी सी दिस इज कॉल्ड ई टी सी एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड कमोडिटी सो इफ देर इज एन ई टी सी विच डील इन विच ट्रैक्स दी परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ बास्केट ऑफ कमोडिटीज एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ दैट बास्केट इज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नेचर इट ट्रैक्स दी परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ डिफरेंट एग्रीकल्चरल कमोडिटीज लाइक वीट और सोयाबीन राइट एंड इफ मेटल्स की बात की जाए इफ देयर इज एन ई टी सी विच हेल्प यू टू इन्वेस्ट इन मेटल्स इधर इट कैन ट्रैक वन मेटल लाइक लाइक सिल्वर और इट कैन हैव अ बास्केट ऑफ डिफरेंट मेटल्स प्रॉब्ली जिंक एंड सम अदर मेटल्स राइट सो इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर इन्वेस्टर्स यूजफुल फॉर पीपल हु वॉन्ट देयर मनी गोइंग इन टू वेरी नैरो रेंज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट दे आर नॉट इन मच इन टू डाइवर्सिफिकेशन दे वॉन्ट के सर्टन कमोडिटीज या सर्टन एवेन्यूज में ही मेरा पैसा लगना चाहिए मुझे बहुत ज्यादा जगह पैसा फैलाना नहीं है राइट सो दिस इज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर सच पीपल ओके सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन सो ट्रेडिंग in shares on exchanges just as you trade sh in shares on exchanges you can track you can trade such etcs right shares of stock prices fluctuate in value there are changes in etcs underlying commodity underlying commodity so etc mein change kab aayega etc ki value mein jab uski underlying commodity mein change aayega it's basically an instrument an instrument which is based on an underlying commodity can track individual commodities or a basket of commodities provide an interesting alternative to trading commodities in the future market right so one option if you want to trade into commodities is ya to aap forwards mein deal kar lo aur actually jo manufacturer hai farmer hai uske paas ja ke contract kar lo right or you can deal in the futures market but what if you want to deal in spot market and uh, you want to deal in spot market and you want the the exchange to regulate the entire operation then you can go for etc performance of etc based on two sources the spot price that what is the current price of the commodity and what is the expected price of the commodity in future so these are two sources of changes in etc in the price of etc next point sebi allowed mutual funds to take so in may 2019 sebi had some decisions coming out based on etc so they are saying if there are some etc derivatives there are some other derivatives i hope you remember the meaning of derivatives we have elaborately discussed derivatives in our sessions so if there are some derivatives which are based on etc have etc as their underlying commodity then mutual funds are allowed to invest 30% of their assets maximum of 30% of their assets into such etc derivatives basically they are trying to put a limit to mutual funds exposure exposure to certain etc derivatives right 30% kab hai jab ye jo mutual fund ka nature hai wo multi asset category ka hai and if it is of any other category not a multi asset category then the limit is 10% right so exposure to a single commodity was also capped at 10% right but now sebi has recently excluded hedging activities by mutual fund from the limit on commodity derivatives laid down by it okay now sebi has said so this was in may 19 they put a limit they put a ceiling to investment into etc derivatives by mutual fund based on their category if they are multi fund multi asset or not in nature right but now what sebi has done sebi has recently said that if mutual funds are putting their money into commodity derivatives only for hedging purposes mutual fund speculation nahi karna cha rahe hain i hope you remember what are uh, hedgers and speculators hedgers are the people who just want to mitigate their risk or protect their investments rather speculators are the people who want to make short term money out of it we have discussed this terms uh, in the de in detail in previous sessions so now sebi has said that if mutual funds only want to protect their investments by putting their money into commodity derivatives then that activity will not be a part of these limits right so this is the recent change that sebi has made
moving ahead to the last question for today there is okay this is the last question it says there is a country which is experiencing an increase in the number of zombie forms again a term which has been discussed in a previous session huge fiscal spending and monetary easing are contributing to the rise of zombie forms many experts are thinking that what can be the effect of such firms rise in number of such firms on the employment scenario which of the following statement do you think is correct in this context correct option for this question is option sorry option b option b means rise in the number of zombie firms it is going to present a grim outlook of the employment scenario guys in simple terms zombie firms aisi companies hoti hain which are not able to pay their debts and they are continuing they are existing they are surviving just because they are getting money from the regulators right here you can see the definition of zombie firms okay company that needs bailouts in order to operate basically if uh, if the regulators or if the government is not going to put money into such firms then they will not operate they will cease to exist because they do not have the financial viability indebted company that is able to repay the interest but not repay the principal and they are able to repay the interest just by the money that they are get or the liquidity they are getting from the authorities right so zombie firms ye firms hain basically they are not operating on a good scale they are not operating efficiently they are just trying to keep themselves alive anyhow right and if these these helpers like regulators they pull the benefits back if they pull the liquidity back then these firms will not survive that is why we call them zombie firms basically half dead firms now such half dead firms they are not going to expand because unke bas paisa hi nahi hai expand karne ko jitna bhi paisa unhe regulator se ya ya government se mila they use it to repay their interest because they are so much in debt they cannot pay their financial obligations without the help of the money without the help of the regulators or the governments right so such firms they are not going to expand if they are not going to expand they would never want to hire new employees they would never want to increase their financial burden and that is why they will never lead to generation of jo jo uh, jobs so zombie firms do not lead to job creation and that is why they are going to present a grim outlook on employment scenario that is why option b is correct right so why are zombie firms increasing because of the easy monetary policy rbi has been providing so much money i just told you in the question number 1 that now rbi is thinking ke bahut paisa de diya humne economy mein bahut paisa dal diya now it's time to pull back right because we do not want this money to go into unproductive avenues Uh, in yes uh, in yesterday session we learned about a question that public expenditure se kitna zyada inflation hota hai right so we learned that it's important ki sarkar jo bhi kharcha karti hai the public expenditure that is being made that should go into some productive avenues it should not go to the zombie firms because see they are going to eat up the money and they are not going to lead to job creation they are not going to do anything good for the economy so you should not give zombie companies any money right so easy monetary conditions and help by rbi or central banks all over the world uh, are keeping zombie companies alive throughout the world right government support in form of stimulus or loan extensions jaise abhi bhi mana kar diya tha ki nps ko recognize mat karo or do not identify bad loans let uh, borrowers let borrowers not being put into the bad category even if they are not paying right so these type of support they keep them afloat they keep such zombie companies surviving but once the regulators pull these benefits back these companies are likely to go bust right and a recent uh, uh, global research firm called rabo bank it has recently said that zombie companies can have a bad impact on employment kyunki sarkar employment generation ke liye jo paisa achhi companies ko dena chahiye वो गलती से जोम्बी फॉर्म्स के पास जा रहा है सो दिस मनी इज गेटिंग वेस्टेड गोइंग टू दी जोम्बी फॉर्म्स रादर दे शुड गो टू दी फॉर्म्स विच कैन एक्सपैंड एंड विच कैन हायर न्यू एम्प्लॉयज लीडिंग टू 
job creation okay so guys these were the five questions for today i hope you learned something new from this video if you did then do not forget to hit the like button because i'll be back in next session with some new information till then uh, you guys take care of yourself and thank you for being here